Well, Hilton has vowed to shed her party girl image and prove that she is a changed person. So, with this new makeover, will the media continue to be fascinated by her? Well, for that, we turn to CNN entertainment reporter Brooke Anderson. She's in our Los Angeles bureau. And here in these studios, Simon Astaire, a media advisor to Hollywood celebrity and the British royal family. Brooke, let's start with you. You have been part of this feeding frenzy, as it were. Just describe how it's been. <laughs> oh, it has been nonstop coverage, Becky. At times, really breathless coverage. And it all seemed to really reach a fever pitch at her probation violation hearing in early May. And then I thought it would diminish a little bit, but it didn't. It continued at the same intensity throughout her stint in jail and then also throughout her release. Um, and, you know, I was at the jail on the night she was released, and the Sheriff's Department spokesman said that it's remarkable the amount of attention that this case has garnered. He also said that they had beefed up security, increased it. They were very cognizant that they had a high-profile person as an inmate. And he also said that the sheriff was recently in Turkey, Becky, and that in Turkey people were even talking about Paris Hilton and asking him about this celebrity <laughs> socialite. Uh, but I will say this, maybe the curiosity is waning a little bit because one of the most popular successful celebrity magazines in the U.S. at least, Us mm. Weekly, has decided not to put Paris Hilton on its cover nor mention her name whatsoever mm. in its issue this week, citing Paris fatigue. So we may see uh, a little bit of a, dec a decline going forward. It's interesting forward. because so, uh, why are we so fascinated by her? Or, or indeed perhaps why have we been persuaded to be so fascinated by her, by the media? Well, first, I think a magazine not putting her on the cover this week is with gritted teeth rather than you know, anything else. And um, why are we fascinated with her? Because she's a phenomena of the age. The age is of reality television, and there isn't a bigger star in the world. And when you have phenomena, they fit in a certain type of era. And Paris Hilton, when you look back over the years, she's the biggest star of the era. So it fits. As, it, as what? As a, reali question, as a reality star. Mm. She is, she's done nothing, but she, is she has a very famous name, which people recognize, and she's the epitome mm. of the reality age. And that's why it creates a phenomena with media and everything else, because she's the number one. But how does she then manage her media going forward if uh, you're to be uh, believed uh, that there is some Paris fatigue out there? What happens next? Well, it's interesting because she has professed a desire to really get involved with charitable efforts. She wants to be um, in philanthropies, involved in philanthropies. And, you know, uh, during the Larry King Live interview, she spoke about that um, a little bit. She talked about how she wants to be an advocate in the fight against breast cancer, multiple sclerosis, um, build a transitional home for inmates after they're released. Uh, but a lot of people I've spoken to say they weren't satisfied with the way Paris was uh, talking about these issues, that she showed no passion, no emotion. Um, so I think the, the real challenge for Paris going forward is to be sincere, is to be believable, and is to walk the walk after she talks the talk. Um, I, I've spoken to paparazzi who have made a living following Paris Hilton around, getting those money shots. And they tell me, you know, if she doesn't go to the clubs, if she doesn't go to those shops where she normally shops, mm. they will still photograph her, um, say, at a homeless shelter or, or doing charitable things, and they would, they would like to do that. So um, Paris still has a chance here. Uh, but like Simon says, she's famous for nothing, really. Mm. So it, it is quite baffling. S Simon, isn't that the problem? That, I mean, you've got a, um, forgive me, but a fairly vacuous character. How do you go about managing her media image going forward. That's your job for yeah, many people. Yeah, well, so I've tell me how you do okay, it. <laughs> I've dealt with vacuous people in my life. So if you're going to make statements that I'm going to get involved in charity, mm. which seems like if advisors got together, say, hey, we, maybe you should mention the charity aspect uh, <laughs> in your first interview. But if you're going to say that, there has to be follow through. Mm. If there's no follow through, then you know, the, the phenomena will at least lessen. Mm. But you know, the, she will be followed. She's the most famous, virtually the most famous person on earth at the moment, which is extraordinary and a reflection, I would suggest, on the world we're living in at the moment. And, um, but she has to have that momentum. I mean, if I was advising her, I would go for the brand. You know, I would say, now, Paris Hilton, the most famous, virtually the most famous name in the world today. 
So we use the brand. We, we have the clothing line and we have this and we have that and we use that name which is synonymous with an age and um, you know, their success. Well, I'm wondering just what sort of charity uh, she would need to do and whether her and Lindsay Lohan and Britney Spears need to get together, uh, for example, to get, you know, put together some charity they can all work on. What do you think? I'm sure they'll get together. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think prison-orientated charities mm. I would advise against. You know, let's mm. move on from that mm. 30 day of or how, many, how many days? 26. Yeah, move on to something else. May, maybe a, a relation, and I'm really trying not to be cynical here, but a relation who was particularly sick with some <laughs> horrific disease. Mm. Maybe you'd support that. You know? Brooke? I agree, Becky, but I think the bottom line is that she needs to be sincere. She doesn't just need to do this for her image. Uh, the Hiltons have hired a crisis manager, so they are working hard to put a certain face forward, but the bottom line is she has to be sincere. She has to be authentic, or people are not going to accept that, and then the brand of Paris Hilton may suffer, and she says she has worked hard to develop that brand. Um, she's an actress. She is a singer. No one would say anything is Oscar caliber or Grammy worthy, um, but she says she does work hard, and that's very important to her that she doesn't just doesn't take uh, family money, uh, but she really has to be believable going forward and she has to want to do it herself, really help others. There are many um, Hollywood icons and uh, those who've been uh, associated with Hollywood before, perhaps we won't call them icons, who've got into the same sort of trouble, been banged up, come out, said things are going to be uh, better, they're going to clean up and move on. Is there anybody that, that comes to mind that you think really sort of exemplifies or personifies Paris Hilton and what she needs to do next. Well, a lot of um, celebrities have gone through rehab or have gone through jail and cleaned themselves up. Um, Angelina Jolie has never had those types of legal problems, although she did go through a wild phase earlier mm. um, in her life and her career, and now she has really used yeah. her celebrity and used her money for positive things. So maybe Paris um, could walk in the footsteps maybe of an Angelina Jolie or a Bono who, who is using their um, time in the spotlight to bring attention to more serious issues that people need to focus on. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with the, her time in the spotlight, but let's be clear here. Angelina Jolie is an actress who can act <laughs> and has been lauded for her acting on certain movies anyway. And Bono is, you know, the lead singer of one of the most successful bands of the last 50 years. So they do have that element of their career that they can fall back on that say, you know, if things are going really badly, you know, at least I can do a movie and maybe I can do it with Scorsese mm. and maybe I can be respected for that. This poor girl, uh, maybe the wrong adjective, but <laughs> she, um, <laughs> she, she hasn't got that. So it's very, it's, mm. in a way, it's a lonely existence. Thank you, guys. Simon Stair, Brooke Anderson in LA.